Hi guys, I'm Mary Poplin, and today we're going to be going over a shot I did for Ryan Connolly with Tryon Films. It's a short film called Proximity, and we did a shackle removal on this guy, so let's talk about what we're doing here. What we're going to do is we're going to try to remove these shackles that fall off the guy's feet as he's running, because it's supposed to stay on for the shot to make sense. Now the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to come in and I'm going to make a shape using my X-Spline and I'm going to import a mat from a file that I already rotoscoped. Now I rotoscoped it in Mocha but I'm not going to make you sit through that. Suffice to say these are my very quick and dirty mats. Now we're going to track the ground and again I'm going to show you very quickly how I track the ground. What we're doing here is we're going to go ahead and add shapes to the ground as we need them and we're going to cut off shear and perspective as we need to in order to get a base basic track of the ground. As with all removes, the remove is only going to be as good as the track that you get. Now we're making a background layer. Now this is going to be how we are removing these objects. So we're going to make a shape and do some rotoscoping and what we're going to do is we're going to link that to our background track. So now it moves through our scene rather nicely. What we're going to do is we're just going to grab this and do some very simple roto to make sure that this background is always moving where the shackles are. And then we're going to go ahead and trim this layer. Now we're going to take a new X-Spline and we're going to define the area that we want to remove. So this is what we're removing. We're going to call it shackles. We're going to drag it below the leg layer. We drag it below the leg layer because we want the leg layer to be held out from on top of it. And we're just going to come in here and correct the roto for the rest of the shot. Now, I've sped up this recording quite a bit, and the reason I've done that is because we're just going over the basic overview of how this works. We're going to jump to our Remove tool, and what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our foreground shape is above our background shape, and that our leg shape is above that and being held out. We're going to create a clean plate. That's going to save to my Results folder, and we're going to jump over to Photoshop, where we're going to paint that out. So I'm just going to open up my, um, my clean plate that got saved, and what we're going to do is we are going to go to our Clone tool, and we're just going to really quickly paint out the shackle for one frame. And that's really all we need to do. We just hit save and jump back over to Mocha and now we hit use clean plates exclusively and we're going to use a interpolate lighting model so that we get the nuances of what's happening on the ground when we render. So what we're going to end up with is a result that looks a lot like this where we have the shackles fully removed. This is the before and of course, this is the after. All right, that was the quickest and dirtiest breakdown ever. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and have a great day.